Well, good afternoon, beloved, and happy Monday and happy week of Thanksgiving. And I pray that God will bless you as you continue to meditate on Psalm 100 and, and uh, think about things that you give thanks to God for each day, especially this week leading up to Thanksgiving. Well, one of the things that I give thanks to God for is that Beth and I get to live in Fredericksburg and most days I get to exercise on my bicycle and one of the routes I take takes me right by the Catholic cemetery here on the north side of town. And I get to see this amazing uh, reminder behind me of what Jesus did for us on the cross. He gave his life in order to pay the penalty for your sins and for mine and not just for ours, but for the whole world. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And all over this cemetery, there's the empty crosses over the graves of believers. And the empty cross is a, a reminder and a symbol of the resurrection of Jesus because he was taken down from the cross dead and buried. And on the third day, the Father raised him from the dead. And that symbol and reminder that Jesus Christ died for our sins and conquered sin, death and the grave, is something to eternally give thanks to God for. And so today, and not just today, but every day, give thanks to the Father for sending His Son, Jesus Christ, and for Jesus who gave His life on the cross for you, and to the Holy Spirit who brought the gospel to your ears with faith to believe. Thank you, God, in the name which is above every name, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and hallelujah.